Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are back in the main base and a, quite a few changes have happened in our factory. Oh, this is a great idea. Yes, bots, let's go, let's go. But what do we see here? Oh my, oh my. Yes, we have the blue chips actually backing up. And what that means is that it is time for sure to uh, upgrade our module making capacity. So um, this is the end of the bus right now and I don't think we're gonna make it any longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, instead of having these in line, we're gonna split them up a tiny bit. So let's um, control X and just grab this and then put it over here instead. There we go, let's see, that's fine over there. Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's line it up a tiny bit better. Two, three. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then we'll put it that way. Let's get rid of these extra lines here. There we go. All right, so that is that. And um, what I'll do is I'll just split the green chips in half. So that's fine here. And then these, this half can go here. And I think what I want to do actually is just completely remove these lines here and kind of copy these. Yeah, I think that makes some sense. Yes, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Let's copy it from here. I think we're going to have a tiny bit of an issue over here with the red stuff and greens. We can deal with this. Um, there we go. That's what we want. Yes, good. All right. And sure, these can continue there. Doesn't really matter. That can go away. Let's move that there, but then we want to upgrade these to red belts, I think. So let's just upgrade all of this. There we go. Okay, so we have this... Um, going into there and then we have our reds and blues. Now the blues are going to be split half and half obviously uh, but reds we need to split here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to split this off this way like this. So half goes to one assembly and then half goes to the other there we go. Like that. And that should work very nicely. Okay, perfect. And now we can just... Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's upgrading these inserters. Ugh. I'm not a fan of that, that whole thing there. That's a bit annoying. Uh, Alright, let's see what we can do with this here. Let's put in some of these undergroundies. Now we do want to extend this area. We'll just grab a one to the end of this. So we have a tileable design. Let's just get, grab this whole thing. Sure. These do not need to be blue belts. This is just what I have on me right now. So it's okay if they're not blue. Okay, and I think I can just copy this entire array and just make it copyable. Go. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change things a tiny bit. So here we have this provider chest with X amount of modules. I'm going to unlimit the chest and I'm going to limit the inserters instead. So what I'm going to do is connect this here and these are making the productivity number threes or level three, I should say, if it's um, less than, I don't know, 500, we'll make a lot. Not 5,000, 500, thank you. If it's less than 500, keep on making them. And we're going to do the same thing with the other inserter. In fact, I'm going to copy this thing and then paste it over here uh, and then just change the module type. And then we're going to unlimit that because what's going to happen is each of these machines is going to have their own box. So we want to limit this globally in f instead of just to each individual box. And the way we're going to extend it is just to do this kind of a thing. 
there we go and make many more modules now you could put speed modules in but i feel like that's kind of a waste because we're trying to make modules here and just having let's see come on oops wrong key wrong key uh, I don't know how many we can support with this, but we'll see. We shall definitely see. Let's put one right there. Nice. Okay, and that will cover us for quite quite a while. And we're going to see how far our supplies will last. Already we're running out of red circuits. Let me go ahead and upgrade these belts a tiny bit. Uh, let's go for map mode and do that. It's a lot easier. Okay, so let's just upgrade from here. Uh, reds and blues. Okay, this is all the way to the mall. Probably don't need it all the way there, but it's fine. And um, yeah, here we have our reds that are... Wow, we, we probably need to upgrade those as well. So let's go. Let's just upgrade. Oopsies. Not that. That is not working. We don't have machines specified there, obviously. And we'll get these guys here. Very nice. It does look like we could use some copper coming in. And these are going really slow, these belts. So I want to definitely upgrade those lines. Copper. Actually, we can upgrade also the red, red circuits coming out. I don't think we have enough to support red belts coming out here. But it's okay to just make sure. Because these are getting a bit thick over there, I have to say. Just a bit thick. All right, so let's just upgrade this whole line here. Okay, and maybe that will make a bit of difference. We'll see, we'll see. So these are uh, already, the speed is gonna increase to double or almost double from 0.75 to 0.1 or 1.25 on these machines. So they're gonna produce a lot faster. Looks like we've given our bots a heck of a lot of stuff to do. They're like, oh my God, Chaos, what are you doing to us? Oh, and this is this is fun here. We've gone to belt storage over there, which is not ideal. I wonder why it's not going here. 40, oh, 4.7K. Oh, because it's full. I see. I see. Okay. So yeah, we're, um, yeah, this is full. But anyway, it will recycle all of them eventually, which is going to be great. So do we have, we don't have enough to support this, but it's okay. We're going to get there as fast as possible, and we are going to be making many, many more modules. Why do I have... Oh, I have all these. Gosh. Okay, let's distribute these guys because... Oopsies. Get out of map mode. And we're going to distribute these into these boxes here. Yes. Good, good. Uh, how many more do I have? I have a lot of these. These are just level one bits. And then we'll just put them in here. Good. So let's see. Now what I do want to do is I want to change these guys. These really need to be regular inserters because we want it to use from the box first. And therefore you put a faster inserter on the one you want it to use first. Because it'll swing around more quickly. And it's like, oh, no, gotcha. We're fine. Yeah, it's good. Okay, there we go. And I probably should do that on these guys as well. Ugh. You know what I could do? I could just do a an upgrade planner that goes from blue to yellow. Yeah, that's fine. Map mode. And just do this. Okay, good. All right, so I think we've got it going good here. Looks like this one is just waiting for, what, speed modules. Okay, so those are going to happen soon-ish. How about you? You're waiting for blue chips, I see. Why is this not grabbing blue chips? Hello? Oh, we have two mi- huh? Confusion. Confusion. We already have 500 of these? Really? Let's look at uh, L for the logistics tab in the network. Let's see. Module. We have... We don't have 500. We got something messed up here. If this is less than 500... Oh, no network in range. Oh, dear. No, that's the problem. Right. Oh, yeah. I see now. Yep, that would be the problem. All right. 
so they need to be covered obviously with the um with the orange area of the roboport network it's kind of important just kind of there we go and so that way it can function better and now it's working there we go yep and those have been uh delivered it's all good life is better hooray and now we have a scarcity of materials again hooray we have stuff to do this is great. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I wanted to set that up before we do what we really need to do now. Um, let's see. Do we have any other modules that we can distribute? No. Oh, we have some level twos. And I probably should get rid of these guys. I don't think we need them at all. These little, these dealies. Kind of done. We just put those level twos. Oh, I forgot I set up these uh, buffer chests. Yep, I can just use that. I could have just sent them. Hold on, hold on. I'm actually requesting these? No. Say it ain't so. I am apparently. There they are. Yep. Uh, I want to say zero, please. There we go. And put them in. Okay. Let's walk by the blue circuits real quick. So that we can... Um... Yeah, there we go. Put these in place. Yay. The things are working. And I think if I want to extend this, I don't think I'm going to put more speed beacons. I think I'll just add more machines instead. Uh, and hopefully they will get the productivity modules they need. Okay, so let's go. Now, uh, I have updated the map with some locations. I have also updated the map with some more map. And um, yeah, you'll see what, what I mean when we get there. Uh, but I do want to take, hey, building train, how you doing? I want to take the building train and we're going to go places. So building train, um, we're going to go here. There's a, there's a nice new continent all the way over there. And I'm going to talk about this as we get there. But let's take also blue spider tron to get there with us. Uh, oh, I don't have any belts, apparently. That's not convenient. Anyway, but Blue Spider Tron can come with us. And um, so I spent a long time clearing this out of biters. I did this off camera because it was boring and it was miserable. And I'm so tired of biters, I can't even tell you. Um, but anyway, we did get a lot of resources. I was looking specifically for oil because we need lots of oil. And what I want to do is create dedicated oil outposts. Like some are going to do just sulfuric acid and plastic, which is what we're going to do today. Um, and that's kind of what I kind of planned out for over here. And I have also put markers of where I kind of want stuff to go. Like, for example, um, we're going to have maybe the rockets have a little Cape Canaveral situation, little peninsula going on here. And then plastic is over here because it's near the water there. And we also have some iron ore down here. Um, and also red circuits, it has its own little copper supply right there. Low density structures right between iron and copper. So I'm kind of like thinking of like, where's the best place for different stuff. And then something like blue circuits is in between red circuits and green circuits. And, um, and then modules, I thought about going over here so that a train can go in a loop to go and deliver stuff rather than, uh, in one long line, but I, I may change that. It just depends. Okay. So let's turn this to be a normal and hopefully find our where is our little spider tron hello wait which one are you no you're the you're the oh sorry about that yeah you got caught sorry about that um <laughs> not convenient apparently little blue spider tron where are you oh no no got caught over there no sad times sad times spider trons getting caught not ideal okay let's send it down that way instead and we can probably just build this on our own. Sad times, but yeah, it's going to have to happen. Um, yeah, and just kind of like find a way through this area and get to where we need to go. We also want to figure out like which side of the cliffs and stuff we want to have these structures. I'm thinking that we can put the train line through this direction here, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Oh yeah, that would work. That would definitely work. Go sideways here and then go down. And when you do right angles, of course, it's always really useful to, um, or that you can build stuff more efficiently, generally. Okay, let's get out of there. Let's just delete this. And this is where our oil area starts. 
Okay, that's fine. And we can do some track building here, approximately. Okay, good. Take that that way and grab another little right angle here. I really have been enjoying using the Spider-Tron for building tracks. It's so, so nice. Let's see if we are getting it coming along. Oh, there it is. It's already over here. Yeah, there's some coal down here as well. And uh, just a lot of cool stuff that we have in this area. This is the area I thought about using for rocket fuel. It's um, quite near the rocket area, so that might be a good, good idea. But let's see. Let's drive this train out. Let's get stuff going along. As we, as we go, we go and Spider-Tron, you get over here. I might actually take the Spider-Tron instead and build these tracks, but we'll see. Let's see, how far are we now? I actually prefer building from the Spider-Tron. I feel like it's a lot more fun. But it's okay. We'll get it sorted. What I might do is just get out of the out of the train here and then kind of scout the area, like go down here. Let's go Spider-Tron, you go over there, please. And then I'm going to just run over here. Yeah, I have completely cleared this area of biters. There's like no more biters. There might be a couple of worms, but yeah, should be fine. I think next time, though, I'm just going to kill them with a console command because we have gone through all the tech, all the stuff. There's really no mystery about how, how to kill biters anymore. So to save my hands, I'm just going to be, nope, no killing biters this way. Because it it was just, yeah, kind of boring. Very, very samey. You know, I tried different methods like was artillery better or was um, doing the, uh, you know, like spider trons better. That kind of thing. Uh, I did find that the spider trons were a little bit better. Uh, at doing stuff because I kind of got murdered with the artillery uh, whenever I got there. So a lot of, lot of, you know, repair packs used that kind of thing. So, okay, let's see. Ah, here we go. This is what I wanted. Wanted some continuity here. Hello. No, stop blinking. Dang it. Why are you blinking? Oh, do I not? I don't have any more rails. Jeez. I think I ran out of materials or something when, um, yeah. Ran out of materials in the base. And Did I not turn it on? It was on. Okay. I'm not sure what happened there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But yeah, so the point of this series is to just show different kinds of things that you can do. And uh, I think I succeeded in talking about biter killing arrangements. So we're pretty good with that. Okay, good. Now let's get in the spider tron itself. And then we can go and just take it along with us for the ride here. Because I think it should have some... Yeah, it has plenty of, of tracks here. All right, there we go. I'm, I'm kind of like... A little bit flabbergasted that I'm out of blue belts, but I think that's probably uh, because of um, of upgrading a lot of the stuff in the base. Okay, let's go and collect our bots. Let's have our train drive down here. Come on, bots. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's move. Gotta move. Okay, and here we are there. All right, so where are we going with this? Oh, and I forgot to put down some radars. That's not ideal, but that's okay. It's easily fixed. Okay, where are we on the map? So we want to build red circuits over here, and then plastic goes over here. So I guess we just keep going diagonal, and that should work really well. Okay, great. Happy days. There we go, there we go. And if we get too much stuff, we can always chuck it into our into our train in the um, recycling car. Makes it easy. 
Oh, oh, we missed one. Oh no, that's oh, I hate when I miss miss a piece there. It's okay though. It's hard to see sometimes with the spider tron in the way, but it's okay. All right, where are we at now? We're good. We probably need a radar again. Let's put one down there. Oh, here is our lake. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. So one of the things that I did do is I designed a um, a blueprint. I had I had a lot of fun designing a blueprint, but we're not going to use the actual blueprint because, um, you know, I said we were going to build stuff by hand and that's what we're going to do. Uh, but it is a cool blueprint. I was just testing to see like how would the modules go and stuff like that and also the numbers for these things. So I'm going to base the numbers off of what I did. Um, but we're going to be building this this whole oil structure by hand and it's going to be a moduled thingy majingy. It's going to be kind of cool, I think. Let's see. Where are we now again? We want to do probably like a right hand turn here to go that way. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm a bit skeptical here. But let's just see. Let's just go along with this. How far are we now? We want to go with this kind of thing like this. Yeah. Yeah, let's just place that there. And then we can delete whatever we don't need here. Okay. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. And it doesn't have to be an exact kind of curve here. Apparently that won't work either though. There we go. That's better. Nice. All right. Looking good. We need to connect electricity. Always good to kind of check and make sure that you have electricity working. Uh, let's get our train going as well. Go here, please. All right. This is, this is good. I'm excited now. This is so good. Okay, now let's look at this thing real quick. Oh, we do need a radar again. Let's put one on the corner. I always like to have my whole area. We'll go and fix this later. Uh, I do like to have my whole area covered by radar. Now, how do we want to build this thing? We can build it right here and say that some of the cliffs are going to yeah mess things up a tiny bit. That is definitely a possibility. Um, we could build it over here. That would be fine. Do we need this? 22 million stone is a lot. I feel like the other patches that we have are also quite small. We have 18 million there. We have these two, which are 19 and 9.4. So like 30 between those. Uh, but in general, it seems like the stone is quite, quite small patches. So I don't know why that is. It's like compared to the other ores, it's quite small couple of worms I guess over here um let's see big this is going to be quite a big place because let's see how big is this area yeah we're gonna have a lot of we need a lot of vertical space here so I'm thinking maybe beyond these cliffs this looks like a perfect perfect place right here what we could do is have the station be right before the cliffs um, and have that cliff wall as kind of a decorative feature. And maybe the train lines can maybe go through these cliffs uh, if we need them to. I think that will work with us quite well. Okay, let's keep on building this track. Going down here. We're going to need a lot of water pumps. And of course, we just need to set up our building station as well. Okay, very good, very good. Oh, yep. Missed the cliffs. Perfect. Perfect. Very nice. Okay. So now we're kind of past, well, almost past the point, I guess. We want to maybe have the output going this way. So just a tiny bit further. And we have access. This is so great. I'm, ex I'm really excited about this. I'm also really excited about the amount of modules it's going to collect in our factory. Let's go and check how many we have. I'm really curious. They should be here somewhere hello 12 and 40 that's pretty darn good yeah increasing that is so nice okay so yeah we're gonna have train stations here i'm thinking that it doesn't really matter where stuff is um 
I, let's see, what are we going to have here? Do we need to have, we do need to have swirly parking, but we also need to have drop off parking because, ah, and here is our coal patch. We can use this coal patch for the plastic. And then of course we have the iron ore here. So we can use trains to transport that or really long belts, but I would prefer a train for that. Um, it might be worth even tapping a bigger coal patch or maybe just using what we have and then just train it in. There's 45 million right over there. Um, so yeah, but the point is that we need to have, we probably need to have a stacker to, uh, for the drop off trains and for the building train. And then we can have a, uh, a swirly parking for things pit, like picking up the sulfuric acid as well as the plastic. So let's see. We may not even need a stacker for that. We may just need, um, I don't know, longer parking spaces because I don't think we're going to have that many trains for plastic or for sulfuric acid, maybe two of each. So it's not a big deal. Um, we want to look at getting the stacker parking lot because that's going to be important. So let's find that. We have this one here. Is that the right direction? Uh, maybe. Let's look, let's look, let me see if I can orient it in time and space. Yes. Okay, let's take this off, these off. I probably should just delete those things because they're kind of not needed. Let's see. Yeah, this is actually very good, I think, but it's, hmm. It's, hmm, <laughs> it's kind of a weird, it's very, very long. I could do the other parking lots from this side. I might just do that and have these going in this direction. Yeah, let's just do that, I think. Okay, so we're gonna do this like here-ish. How, where am I? Ah, there, this is a better view. Let's go from map mode, just to make sure that we get these aligned well and away from the pump jacks area. Okay, so let's put those in. And then we need to get... We also need to look at the swirly parking lot. Somebody made a mention that the things were for eight cars. I thought I had it set to nine, but it looks like they're in really weird increments because I think some of the signals meant were meant to be on the other sides. Like this one... Uh, and then we have like no signal over here at all. Um, and then there's this one and it's like, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I think somehow they got on the wrong sides of the track. Uh, so we need to fix that. I thought I had them all correct. It's so weird when, um, when stuff like that happens, but I appreciate, um, people being diligent and, and curious. And it's like, ah, oh, I wonder if that's right. Because sometimes it's definitely not right, even though, you know, best laid plans and all of this and um, trying to get things going. Well, that was cool. <laughs> that was quite cool, actually. Okay, let's see. This is not needed. Oopsies, there. Okay, good. This is this is great. So, uh, yeah, chain signal in to choose the parking thingy. I don't know if we're going to need this big of a stacker, but it does fit our building train. So that's a good thing. Uh, in case, uh, well, building train won't be waiting, but we might have significant train sizes for plastic and coal and stuff like this. So how do we want to do this? Hmm. This is going to be drop-offs for iron and coal. I think that's all we need, right? Let's look at plastic and sulfuric acid. Let's see, where are you? Uh, here? Yes, there we are. Plastic, coal, yes. Sulfuric acid needs iron and sulfur. Sulfur is from petroleum. Okay, and it just needs water. That's fine. So we have two stations coming off of here. So let me grab a... I don't know what to do with this. Actually, we could just... Do, we could do just a simple kind of thing like this. Actually, we need three stations. Yeah, because building train as well. Okay, let's do couple of different things here we can do a different uh thing here this one oh no 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 not gonna work not gonna work let's do that one there 
and then we can have one here and then one a little bit further down as well. And I think the building train can be furthest down. I don't mind. Let's put that down here and down here. Okay. Now, the question is, do we want to have really big trains for this? Probably not. I don't think we need the eight eight trains because the sources are very very close at the moment so i'm thinking we could set up with just uh four cars but the building train needs to be a tiny bit longer so let's see where are our train thingy thingies there we go so building train is how many cars i think it's six let's go look okay here we are we have one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Building train is six. Let's take the building train up here. And I guess what I can do is just measure it from this end point there. So this is going to be our approximate there. Sure. And... We'll grab the building train station from our... Actually, it's in our blueprints already. So we'll take it from there instead. Rails, station building, outpost. Yes, perfect, good. And these two should have enough space to unload as it is. So I'm just going to put this quite close. See, that it will be the end of this. Yes, good. Okay, great. All right, and now the building train can visit. Yay. It's so good. Okay, here we go. Okay, fantastic. And then we just need to take these uh, out. So let's go ahead and just build these stations right there, and then we can build those stations in a sec. So we can... Let's just do outward thingy thingies. Perfect. Okay. Rails out. So now our building train can actually go around and do stuff. Uh, and, and we can just leave it as it is right now. Let's connect this with a nice big power pole coming in here. Okay, there we go. And here. Good, good. All right. Oh, geez. I forgot to put the power poles in the blueprint design. Oopsies. I don't know how that got there as well. It's interesting. Very interesting. Okay. But uh, let's, let's configure this place. So let's see. We need a lot of this stuff. We do not need the nuclear stuff because we're not going to have that. Pumps, yes, but maybe less. Not sure why I had so many here. But um, we're going to just reduce that a tiny bit. These, I guess we can have enough of those. Sure. Um, let's look at the other stuff that we need here. Boxes, probably. I don't think we're going to need active providers here. Or miners. No, not at this station. Beacons, yes. Furnaces, no. I think we're going to smelt on site. At the other places. I don't think we're going to need filter inserters either. Let's see. That's fine there. And then modules. Yes. All the things. All the stuff. And then belts. Yes. We're definitely going to need belts. So. And a few assemblers. We're not going to need 50 though. Maybe like 10. Let's go with 10. I should readjust these numbers because some of them feel quite high. Uh, Alright. So. Lights. Sure. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, so I do want to go and grab things from the building train before we start uh, setting it free and loose and doing the thing and the stuff. So these can go here. We can take these guys off and take all the pipes and pumps and yeah, chemical plants. Sure, offshore pumps. Yes. Yeah, I think we have everything that we need. Do I have storage tanks? Yeah, we have plenty. Alright, and before we let it loose, I do want to name this place. This is going to be 
plastic. Um, SF, SA, sulfuric acid, SF, uh, we'll just do this. Sulfuric acid and building. Yes. There we go. I think that's going to work. Plastic, maybe we should do an ampersand here. Sure. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Works for me. And we'll set our building train to come here. And I think I want to set it to come here first. Instead of green circuits, I want it to come here first and drop off the modules here first. Because I think this might be a better use than in green circuits. So let's go. Why are these red? I wonder why they're red. This is a good question. Hmm. Okay, well, hopefully it'll let us click and then we can figure this out. Let's see, iron, iron, plastic. Hello? Why is it not here? Did I not save the name? Let's look. It is there. Train, hello. I really want you to go there, train. So, at a station. Did I just miss it? Oh. Nothing? No. Nuclear oil. Stone. This is very strange. Let's go into manual mode and maybe add a station. Oh, here it is. That's so weird. Huh. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Add wait condition. 15 seconds of inactivity. Sure. And add that up ahead of green circuits. So I'm going to tell it to go to green circuits right now. Uh, so it can drop off the modules that need to go there currently. Ah, but we have no path. I wonder why. Okay. These go this way. Is something not connected? We have seemingly a connection. Ha. Huh. Oh, oh. Pink Spider-Tron is not happy with the current situation. Hmm. All right, let's take the building train up. Wish I could put the spider tron in my pocket, but All right, let's go and just manually take it through because maybe there's a physical obstruction that it can't get get through. Okay, go to the right. Here we go. This is always the best way to find those kinds of obstructions is just taking the train by itself. Oops, there's a uh, thing down there. Let's see. We can also put radars while we're down here. Okay, this area seems to be okay with radars so far. It might be in the area that we can't see. Maybe even like a single missing diagonal rail, something like that. That seems like it would be a culprit. Ah, oh, yes, there it is. We found it. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see. We found the thing. Hello? Hello. I do have bots, right? They're there. Yes. Logistics, character, armor. We have roboports. Hello. There we go. No, still not happy. Okay. Let's try it again. I don't know why it didn't put the rail down. That's weird. So I, I thought I shift clicked it, but it was hard to see because of the trees. So. Radar. Yay. And we'll keep on going. I do want to have radars all along this area. So I'll just take it up here and then we can take another train back. Oh no. Wow, that's too many. Hold on. I was trying to be fancy. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Really? I have a longer reach than you think. My arms are really long. Come on, train. All right. And here we are. Hooray. We are at the next location. Okay, so I'm going to let the train do its thing and send it back to Green Circuits. And I am going to take a locomotive down there. Put fuel in. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Hello. There it is. And just get there. Oh, this is so nice. 
This is great. We might just, um, we're kind of running short on time, so we might do some more like preparatory work and like, for example, grabbing the uh, water and taking it this way, because that's quite important as well. Let's get out of here. And I'm thinking taking this water across this area here, we probably are going to need maybe like three, three pipelines full of water. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm thinking that would be a good idea. Take these across like here, maybe. And I'll just leave a one space between them. Oopsies. Hello. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna copy these guys. Just set them on their way. And every 10 of these tiles, so that's going to be, this is going to be 6, 8, and then this is going to be 10 here. So I'm going to delete these pieces and then put in a pump. Oopsies, come on. And then we can put in a power pole. Yeah, and that should work. We do need to take some long distance ones here. So let's copy this whole thing. And then these guys, let's just copy this entire thing. This is where it fits. Okay, that works there. Good, good. I should actually put a copy the power pole into this whole scheme here. So control V, that of course is not gonna help. There we go. Okay, take that along, but it's not that far anyway to get to the water here. But the reason we're making, we're adding these pumps is because of the water. It's not exactly pressure. A lot of people call it pressure. But um, what it is, is that the water or any fluid, it tries to equalize within the pipes and any connected containers. And when the distance becomes extremely long, the ability to equalize is severely diminished. Um, and it just, it just basically takes forever and it never does actually equalize. So what we're doing here is we're preventing the water from going backward with these things that are, that are basically valves, but we call them pumps. And um, they do, they do kind of suck water as well as, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, push it as well. So it just, but it basically just keeps things in check uh, and makes sure that, um, you know, the water or whatever fluid gets to where it needs to go. All right, did we get more pipes? Let's see. No, train has not been back yet. No, no. Sad. Hello. Okay, we need to get the train back. Building train. Oh, it's coming to us right now. All right. Um, yeah, it'll drop off quite a lot of pipes. I can go ahead and just add the offshore pumps in here for now. Because we know where we want to go. And this is exciting. Hooray. So it's, it's pretty important. And there's a chart on the wiki about this. Let's see. Can I find an offshore pump? There it is. They're the most difficult things in the whole game to find. Just speaking from experience here. I don't know why that is, but it is so. That goes there. We'll do this one here and that one there. Good, good, good. Um, but generally a range of 10 tiles. Tiles being measured by the uh, undergroundies are two tiles. Even though they cover a long distance, they are still counted as two tiles. The devs were going to fix this at some point, but I think they ran out of time with the fluid mechanics thing. So uh, they didn't end up sorting that out, but it might come in the future. I know that was something that they they were talking about for quite a while. All right, what are we doing here? No, no, don't, don't do things. No, no, I really want that stuff back. Some of it back. Here, I want these bits. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> I want all of this stuff. Don't take the good stuff from me. No. Okay, why did that end up in there? That's so weird. 
I feel like, yeah. Huh. I definitely feel like I'm not sure how I got those extra pipes because I ran out, didn't I? I think I ran out. Or maybe it was just that robot preventing me. Naughty robot. Bad, 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 bad. Okay, we now have stuff. So anyway, yeah, underground count as two tiles, even though they span a long distance. But um, there's a chart that shows the throughput available for X amount of pipe distance. And that's kind of what you have to keep in mind here with that. Uh, so 10 is considered a an acceptable distance in general. Let's just connect this here. Sure. There we go. Okay, so we are getting somewhere, and that is exciting. Let's go ahead and put all this up here. If we need to move stuff around, we can, uh, especially where the train stations are going to go up here. I haven't quite decided that yet. Oh, it's just, it's just bots trying to get in my pockets again. Somebody said, <laughs> somebody made a comment. It just totally made my day. It's like, oh yes, yeah, all the bots going in there and tickling you in the pocket. I was like, oh, so cute. Um, and then this here, we need to organize. Now, do we have, we do not have anything under the trees. So that is excellent. But I will get out my, my oil thing for the huge pump jacks because sometimes they're hard to see. These are actually quite easy to see. And uh, that's nice. Okay, good, good. Very, very good. We like this. All right, and we might want to keep space for a uh, for beacons inside here. We could put one beacon right there. That would actually be nice. Really nice. And then this one actually could go that way. Sure. Cool. Well, this is nice. There we are. Actually, that can go straight because it's not not a space of three in between. And there we have our pump jack field, which is looking pretty good. Um, that's got to go there. Sure, sure. Nope. Not the way I wanted that to go, but that's okay. With things like oil, it's not necessarily that important, but you can place uh, some pumps like from the back of the field going toward the front of the field. That's fine. Let's see. Let's go maybe this way. Okay, very good. So those are nicely connected here. Now, I guess I want to create some... We do want to create some tanks, but I'm thinking of making those closer to the factory. So at the moment, I just want to connect these guys together. I think that will be useful to us. Just so long as they're connected and we have uh, a way to interact with them. That would be nice. Let's take this one under. Okay, and that one is already connected. Great. Okay, so all of these guys are connected. Good, good. All right, so what do we want to do with these? Let's just put them this way. You come here. Do we? So we can do this. that way. Good. It's always nice also to have walking space between your pump jacks. All right. Okay, how do we want to take care of this mess? <laughs> this is like, no! Help! The help is real. Can do this, maybe? Nope, maybe not there. Hold on, just a sec. Go this way. 
Nice. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. And then, so those are all connected together. Um, we might want to have a couple of different outlets for these guys, but I'm not really sure how I want to do that exactly. Oops, that doesn't have to be there. It could be like this instead. Yeah, there we go. Okay, nice, nice. Um, and then we could just connect this one this way. Like that. So all of them are actually connected together. Is that right? No. These guys are not connected to these yet. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Okay, so now all of them are connected together. And I think that's probably a good point to stop our current episode. It's pretty pretty cool that we've gotten this far and we can work on making this refinery in the next episode but this is going to be a massive massive kind of cool thing that I hope uh, you'll enjoy seeing uh, built and uh, we'll be able to build one of your own so anyway uh, thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.